the very first item, the first item we're looking at right in this rainy, rainy morning is another wagon. We used ours yesterday to kind of fix the flooded game shed. <laughs> it ain't good. Look, it's right there. Yeah, it's seen, better days. It's, it's seen better days. It's got a little messed up, so I don't know. How's it feel, Ricky? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. But Ricky, I, I don't know if we're doing this correctly. I think we're supposed to pull it, not put it in another cart. <laughs> but we bought it. We bought it for uh, for 25 bucks. So uh, we'll uh, use it. But for now, I don't know if Curtis is going to pull I'll it because I have to phone. carry this dumb phone and tripod that you guys are not seeing. Is it cool to buy like newer Sonic toys? I mean, I don't know if everyone's going to think they're that cool, but I think it's kind of cool. Sonic the Hedgehog looks cute. You know, looks a little cheap. It's funny how newer toys, you can kind of tell they're cheaper, but so cool to see. Wait, guys, they're having cart wars. Oh! I can't keep up. Uh, just a, a good idea for you guys to see though. Uh, this is the day after my game room flooded. And as you can see, nobody's really set up here. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out how this day's gonna go. But for now we're goofing around. What you got, Ricky? What you got? GameCube controller. Oh, a DS, a GameCube controller, a PS3. All that just showed up out of the blue right now. I mean, it's a little broken. It's very broken. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the GameCube I controller looks not, oh, it looks decent. And then uh, I'm gonna poke around. Curtis is at a PS3. Xbox, Nintendo. Nintendo consoles are sitting on the end of this table. Uh, just a controller, no game. I'll ask about this. And there's a couple other things lying around that's kind of cool. Batman LCD watch. It's pretty sweet. Gotta like that. This black label board. This thing is nice. Holy crap, this is a nice one. Really clean, really good nose and tail on it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna ask him. Uh, how much is the skateboard? I want something for 80. Oh, <laughs> so it was more of his personal collection one, but that's okay. Uh, also, I uh, didn't pick up that Nintendo. It was a little more than we wanted, but that other booth, a few booths back, did grab a couple things um, from there that you saw Ricky holding and just some other stuff. Nothing crazy, but and getting stuff. So, pretty wet though. I'm wet! I'm wet! Oh. Baby. Let's see that, Ricky. That thing is a look at the. It's a big feel like these trucks just feel so girthy. I'm used to big trucks, but those ones look huge. Is this a sector nine? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's anti hero, dude. Oh, anti hero. Wow, it is big, dude. It's long. Um, quick pause there, ref. This is cool. This is a skateboard holder, so you can just chuck your boards in there. Man, I'm hoping to find more games, but so far only that Switch controller you bought, Ricky, and a couple other things. So Ricky just found a big stack of these characters. I'm gonna be honest, we thought it was Jason. We got excited, but it's someone called Gino Inachi, and there's a whole giant stack of them, and it definitely looks like Jason, but I have never seen these before. There's a whole bunch of them right there. But, well, Jason. But at five bucks each, you know, Ricky? So I picked up that Gino Inachi figure. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know anything about it. Um, it just looked super cool, seemed to be pretty good quality. So I picked it up, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. You know what this reminds me of, this big stack of Xbox games? What? It reminds me of the freaking games that were floating across my shed yesterday when I went in and all, oh, my, all my Xbox games were just floating in my flooded game rooms. <laughs> Xbox here on the table, NHL hits in here, so you make a little bundle. And then Ricky's got the controller, the Duke, a little wet, but and it's the still... Power supply that I need. Oh, and the power supply that you need. Perfect. Okay, yes. There we go. All right, things are starting to pick up. So Xbox, controllers, and a game for 20 bucks. So that's super, super, super. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, dang, bro. That's called the trying to stay warm shuffle. <laughs> First, you gotta do the truffle shuffle. <laughs> I gotta show Ben's deal though. Ben, yeah. ben just got this for five bucks. I mean, hey, that's uh, worth checking out right there. Ben with the five dollar Xbox 360. Benjamin, Benjamin button. And then Ricky, what in the world? What are you? It's like a two controller. What? Do you need this, Ricky? It's actually for my wife, but I do. I have to say this about Blazers. I love them in aesthetic and the way they look. But some of them, I, not not all of them, obviously, but some of them, I don't like the puffiness right here. It makes me like, I don't know, it makes my shoe fit differently than I would like it to look on me and feel different. So I don't know. Why? What are you doing with your life? Why are you buying all of this? I don't know. What are you? 
You don't need both of these, Ricky. Well, if he wants for keeping, wants for putting. Ricky, it's actually very cool to find a big box. Oh, the base is loaded. Yeah, I haven't seen a PlayStation big box game in forever, dude. Nice job, and then there's a bunch more down I'm here. Pure. That's the first game my mom bought when I convinced her to buy a PS3 when we were young. Look at the X-Men playing cards. Pull that out. I gotta see. Ready? Oh. Oh, those are cool, Ricky. What year are they from? They're from 1993. There you go. You got yourself a little bundle, Ricky. So Ricky got him for 10 bucks. Pretty cool, Ricky. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time that we found a big box PlayStation. I even know bases loaded. Or a long box. I don't know what called big box, but long box, yeah. Ricky found a Lego camcorder that a does that work? Dude, it's legit. Wait, does that plug in? Like you can actually yeah, plug look. in. I thought it was what just a Lego. World? Wow. I've never funny. seen that in my life. Ricky's buying it. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Ricky, stop showing me your license. Oh wait, I can't see it. <laughs> All right, so Ricky bought that Lego camera, and I'll be honest, as Ricky was buying it, I didn't tell him, but I looked it up. If that thing works, it sells for 80 bucks. <laughs> if that thing works. I mean, again, it's cool to have either it's way. Cool. It's a nice little collection piece, but uh, a super cool item. All right, we're headed to go eat because it, it's really slow to set up right now. I mean, everybody's going like half a mile a minute, sweeping and mopping before they even do anything, which we get. So, Ricky, where are we going right now? We're going to Hank's. This is Retro Rick's favorite burrito place over here. For a burrito. Thank you, sir. Hank's was closed, but now we're going to good old... It's been a while since I've held Del Taco. But you know, it's been a while since I've had to unclog my toilet anyway, so this will help. This will help me. Listen, the, all the power just went out here, and it came back on, and now the emergency broadcast system was beeping. It's the end of the world, Ben. This is it. This is it, Curtis. This is it. And Ricky's buying stuff on eBay as we speak. And after a delicious, semi-delicious meal, <laughs> back to the swap. So I've had a lot of good sponsors in my life. I'll admit that, but I've never had a sponsor this useful to my day to day. Most people at this day and age, when I meet them at conventions, they're not talking about Pixel Game Squad. They're talking about Editor Riff. Right here at a desk sitting is where I normally would spend most of my time, but recently got reached out to by a company called Flexi Spot. This is honestly changing the game for me. I have been editing for over a decade and I'm always sitting down doing so. And I'm not that kind of guy. I'm a runner, I'm athletic. I like to go out and do stuff. I didn't know how important and how useful and beneficial a standing desk would be to me. With this right here, I have the option to go between standing and sitting my choice at any time. By the way, not to mention USB ports, USB-C ports, all different ways to keep charged up, which just makes it super convenient as an editor. So it's your first time coming to my desk. What do you want to do? Well, these buttons right here, you just push and hold them till your heart's desire, till your heart's content. But if you're like me, you're about efficiency and want to get things done, we got presets right here. Check this out. Standing desk, I already have programmed. Button number two. I also should have said when I did put this thing together, it was like the quickest I ever put anything together. I did it by myself in like four minutes. I'm not kidding. It's gonna go to 41 inches on the dot. Watch this. 41 inches on the dot. This is my desired height for standing at a standing desk. Oh, oh I've been standing for two hours. I should probably sit back down. No problem. Just hit one of my presets right there. I set mine to preset one and it's gonna go all the way down to my perfect sitting position. Oh guy, I had my wife pushing me in, but it didn't go so well. But this is where I like it right here. I forgot to say this. You you can also customize your desk. This isn't the only option. There's a whole bunch of different options in the way these things look. Truthfully, this is one of the most essential things I've ever gotten from doing this channel and I can't be more thankful because someone like me who spends so much time at a computer and let's be honest these days, you don't have to be an editor to do so. Stuff like this is just super, super important. So for me, back to standing to get my creative juices flowing. Go check the link down in the description. You won't be let down. And I'm back. Hey. All right, we see a Genesis game lying face down. We're all taking guests. Everyone's, everyone says a sports game. NHL. NHL, yeah. Oh, oh my God. NHLPA, Ricky. I don't know why I think this is cool. Uh, Eminem's racing team backpack. Four bucks? All right, why not? Well, there it is. Eminem's racing team. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Ricky, is this ours? Okay. <laughs> Benjamin bought a Super Mario Bros. case. <gasps> case only. How much was it? There you go. There we go. A switch case. How much is this? The cases? 10 bucks? What is that one? A different one? Same one? Okay, nice. Is this Mario Kart? Yeah. Mario Kart. Let me see. Pokemon 1, 2. Yeah, so they got a Pikachu one. I think this was. Would you do like two for 15? 
Okay. If I buy two or? I don't know what he said. I didn't get a yes or no. Turtles too, okay. Ninja Turtles, yeah. Ooh, Ghostbusters. Some more Foot Clan. How much? Eight each turtle. Eight each on the turtles? Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's a bunch more down here. There could be some. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch. You got the Mechas. There's Shredder. Look. This is one of my favorites. I've said that before. Oh, yeah. Shredder. Oh, I never see Shredder with the summer. Oh, uh, we but it's not the Motion Plus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I love him. Ooh, yes. I see him too often. Hey, isn't this the one that... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ricky gonna snag a whole big old Lotso. Big old Lotso. And I'm gonna grab a bunch of these, actually. They're really cool. Cool. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Grabbing some of those. Ricky's getting the turtles. What'd you get? Making me it. Oh. oh, wow. Wow, Ricky. What games did you get? Wow. Wow. Okay. Mega Man 6 Battle Network and Mega Man 5 Battle Network. How much? Uh, 8 each. A little Foot Clan? Mm -hmm. See a good one? From the movie, huh? Wow. More games too? Dr. Mario Kart. How much are these? Different prices. Oh, oh here we go. He's, he's 10, bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah. Each? Yeah. Okay, cool. Donkey Kong really 3. Mario, Mario Paint. Look at that Super Mario World. Oh no, the Super Mario World has seen better days. Look at this, Ricky. Let's see. Bummer. Oh. So that was a actual fantastic deal. He actually had 20, he said 25 on this for Ricky and then 10 on this Dr. Mario. And I just said, how much for both? And I also let him know that I bought other stuff off him. And he went to 27, no hesitation. That's good, That's man. That's a great deal. I feel really good about that. So <laughs> we'll go, oh no, oh, it's not, it's not supposed to happen. And I saw your video. It's, I'm so oh, sorry. thanks. Hey, I take donations. Donations? No, I'm just, donations? No, I'm just, no, I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I got a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm really debating on these Air Max. You guys let me know in the comments if, uh, I'll decide in a little bit if I'm gonna get them. We're gonna do one more round because a guy over there told us he's bringing more stuff out. But let me know if you guys think that this is something I should have picked up. I'll let you know if I end up picking them up, but just kind of curious. I like them. They're 10 and a half, they're, but they're, my, that's my size. Bro, are you slipping on that gizmo? You didn't even see him? Dang, let me see him. Oh, it's the one I used to have. Oh, really? No, he's been he's been damaged. He's, he's seen better days. Let's see, let's see. I can do the VHS scramble to see. See, the big mistake though, as a seller, is you gotta face these the other way so people don't have to pull them out. It's just a simple way to see. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Ricky, I see something. Nope, nope, keep going. Keep going. Ben spotted. Oh, even Ryan. Everyone spotted it except Ricky. There it is. trying to make this PC for So one of the ones Ricky got earlier that he wanted to point out is we couldn't really find much on this one, like the all silver, all gray kind of looking shredder. But you said you saw one online. I think it was like 55, but honestly, I, I didn't even dig that much. I'm just like, oh. Yeah. Like, it's the one I saw. I was like, all the other ones were the purple ones. So I'm like, okay, I'm like. And that's a collection if, piece if right there. Even, if it's even like a $20 one, I'll be like. Yeah. Wow, God of War PS5, man. What a day to be alive, 8K. Jeez, Bill how much? Oh no, you already have one. I have. 500 one. bucks? Yeah, it doesn't even seem that bad to be honest, you know? A man, and it's the disc version? Wow. Man. How much do they go for, Ben? My brain is debating on one of these. I don't have one. We walked by this shoe booth and I saw these Nikes and immediately I was like, these are these are like Master Chief edition shoes right there. That is exactly what they look like. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's dope. I'm very curious on this. Adventure doll Sailor Moon. I'm gonna ask. How much is this one? Oh, Ten bucks? I'll buy it. Try it out. I just got this for ten bucks. Look at this custom Sonic EXE right here. I actually think that's really cool. Mikey would love that. Mikey plays those Sonic EXE type games a lot. Ricky said he has the other one of these Powerpuff Girls. So I'm gonna pick these ones up for 10 bucks. So super cool and interesting, man, they're heavy. These are heavy, 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 heavy duty. 
I'm also gonna buy this just because it's cool. It's a Space Jam, but dead stock from McDonald's. Never been open, so I'll give them five bucks for this. You guys see the new Avatar dolls they make now? <laughs> Look different. So this was in here, you guys. If you don't know, uh, these are pretty collectible. Um, I have owned a couple of these, but I've never had seen this one before. I think they're like 30 bucks, but I'm gonna see. If it's anywhere around like 10, I'll pay for it. How much is this thing? This one? Uh, that one, uh, 10. 10 bucks? Mm -hmm. Would you do eight? Okay, cool. So I did get the code breaker uh, for PS2. It's basically like a, you know, a cheat DVD. I look at unlimited ammo, unlimited Whoa. hell, secret characters. Whoa. It's like PlayStation Nintendo power, but on DVD. But cool, eight bucks, good deal. If you don't know too, they sell for like 35-ish, 30 bucks. Nice. So really cool, but super cool little piece. Ryan was gonna get it and now he's looking at me like, you son of a gun. <laughs> I don't know why, Ricky, but this Peach, even though she's obviously bootleg, she's a cool, actually it says Nintendo, yeah. but it's probably bootleg Nintendo, but maybe, I don't know. I know you, I know Ricky that I want it too, but you, you called it from far away, so go ahead. Ricky, you buying it? It, Show me, bro. So you're buying this for your collection? For the collection. It's a beautiful little piece. And we found out she is real? Yeah. We found out? Okay, she's not. Even though the Nintendo's on the bottom, we... Yeah, it looks like funky. You know, they had a different artist that week who was interning <laughs> who made her, but uh, yeah. something I made. Ricky, for 10 bucks. There you go. All right, today is fun bootleg day, and this one is awesome. I actually like that one, dude. He is. He is a wild one. Actually, some cool toys lying around here, too. You got a Turok. You got Raiden, and then Ricky was looking at uh, Yoshi over here, debatably. debatable. Debatable. He was debatably getting it. We'll Debate. see, we'll see. Maybe, we'll maybe. See. Sheesh. Are they nice? It's like semi-awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Puppies. Oh, little pups. Oh. oh my goodness gracious me, oh my. You guys are so cute. Yo, from a mile away, from a mile away. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna ask about this. How much is this guy? Yeah. This one. $1,000, man. Oh boy, $1, worth it. Definitely worth hey, it. Classic, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dollar. Dollar? Oh, oh, get it, get it. Oh, he's on the loose. He's going, he's going. He's going the distance. Da, 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 da. This is way less cool than you think. Oh, now it's cool. Oh, Ricky. Don't hit the table, bro. So this cool spot is up, super sick. This cool spot, guess what year this is from? 1988. 90, yeah, dude, I was actually like very hyped on this when I saw this from far away. Cool spot, uh, Super Nintendo, legit one of the better games out there. Oh yeah. I love that game. Did you guys know that they had a competition if you beat the game, they would give you like a lifetime supply or something of, of, chair, of 7-Up? or whatever the drink is yeah. um yeah. and gerard beat it like 10 years ago yeah. and he tweeted them and they showed up at his office with like cases and cases and truck fulls of seven up yeah yep they honored they honored it, they honored it just because it was funny supply. yep what'd you buy curtis what'd you buy many my loony um millennium oh like a millennium millennium camera mott you know what mott's is Nope. So, it's a, it's a, it's a fruit brand. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I was a kid, it was uh, like the apple, the apple cider juice thing, the ball. Fruit snacks. Fruit snacks. There you go. Oh, fruit snacks is a way of life, bro, as a kid. And then you got some Turtles vans over here as well, the party wagons, some micro machines. You know, this is a, ooh, this one's actually really cool. Hey, this is cool. See these? Hey, that's my actual real name, Unaware Aaron. I like it. All right, y'all, this is a great booth right here. I'm going to pick up Traveling Travis. Uh, unaware Aaron for sure, Friday. And I think I'm probably gonna pick this up as well. You got Don, no, this is Raphael. Oh, Raphael Sai with the black bandana. I get it, going old school with John Kreese right there. I'm gonna pick that up too and maybe throw in another item too. I wish I could find more of these garbage pail kids though, because I'm loving those. Ricky, what are you buying? Show me, bro. Dude, Ricky, you got some Kato cars. I, I love the Datsuns, the 510s. So, I get it. It's really cool. It's, it's not Hot Wheels, but close enough. Kato Collector Ricky. Yeah, I was kidding. <laughs> but that's super sick, dude. That's cool. And they're all sealed, right? Yeah. Nice. And ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, it is turning into a very fantastic day very quickly. I'm very happy about the Garbage Pail Kids and then Cobra Cry Cross with Ninja Turtles. I mean, what a fun day. This is just turning out good. Games, games, games too?
I'm gonna pick up this Kruger right here. Piggy Bank Freddy Krueger, too awesome. Just, he's pretty, he's pretty, pretty girthy too. He's a big boy. So he's a little happy, but I like him. Let's see that, Ricky. Ricky just found this, a Kingdom Hearts banner. I mean, that's pretty sick. You got Woody and Goofy and Donald and the whole crew. I'll pick up a couple of these banners. They're five bucks each for the Kingdom Hearts banners. That's actually a really good deal on banners. So yeah, I'll pick up a couple of them. <gasps> Ricky. Dude, Mario soundtrack, the Mario singers. Dang, bro. <laughs> Did you know they made a big comic? Oh. Dang, bet you that was as big as, big as one. <laughs> ben just failed that so bad. Oh, and then some great Aliens comics that I might pick up just because look at these, bro. These big fat cigs. I don't smoke, but just, you know, just looks bad to the bone. All right, I'm gonna buy these right now, but I gotta go pay him. What I've been doing lately, I've been pairing up like old movies, like VHS tapes with like comics or magazines and stuff like that. So I think I have, I think I have quite a few copies of the different Aliens movies. So it's kind of fun to display them next to each other, kind of put them around with all the little, you know, alien symbolization, what, alien uh, graphics, alien, what's the word I'm looking for here? Aesthetics? I don't know, bro. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We got the Rick Meister digging. What you see, bro? What you see? Dude, a lot of halos. Holy cow. A lot cow. of halos. You want the whole halo collection, bro? Jeez. Bam. Louisiana. One, two, two. Anniversary. anniversary. Three. Four. And part two. two. <laughs> 60 bucks. What is it, Ricky? What you got back there? PS2. PS2 Slim. Silver. silver. Does the eject work? Okay, eject works. Okay. You got a silver controller with it, which is nice. Oh, this is cool. I didn't even see this. That's really cool. Epic Mickey Collector's Edition book. Ooh, Soul Calibur uh, guide. Sweet. Probably grab these. I like it. I like it. That's cool too. Ooh, does it come with that one too? Debbie, dash nice. The whole bundle, the whole kit and caboodle for that price. Uh oh. Back there we got a, we got a dancing white man. Dancing white man. Shout out to these guys for watching. What was your name? Saul, nice to meet you, Saul. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. For real. For real. Oh, there he goes. He said he started collecting because of us. Dude, my condolences. Awesome, man. I'm sorry. So what we're doing over here, Curtis, is we're uh, we're getting Ricky's bundle together. He's getting the PS2 Slim uh, with all the controllers and stuff, and uh, getting a pretty good deal. I think he's getting around like six bucks or so, which is a good deal. The, the Witcher? Yes. I saw this on the deal, the Witcher book series. And there's more right there. Wow. As you all can see, the day has turned to a very, it's been a very good day, actually. Only like the first half when it was raining, it was a little yeah, iffy. But this turned out very nice. So this is gnarly. Our homie said these are all sealed. Oh my gosh. Look that up on the US 240. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm a huge, I actually have a lot of sealed VHS as well, too. The Frightener sealed, Robocop. What else we have? Ooh. It's not the original one. But still Exorcist Seal. I thought I saw a Texas Chainsaw it's too. The original one, but it has a good old one. Oh, got it. I thought I saw a che Texas Chainsaw 2 in here somewhere. Is it is it a sealed one? That was the one that, yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Dude, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm trying to be gentle when I pull this out. <laughs> wow, good <laughs> grief, <laughs> man. I mean, if I want, if I want to make myself feel good about the shed, I mean, look at this. Look at our cart. That looks beautiful. <laughs> That is absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm genuinely stoked after looking at our cart of how good of a day it actually was. Yeah. After what happened to me last night, this is what I wanted my cart to look like. Also, Ricky, we probably should cover this stuff up now if we're walking around the swap meet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's Bowser, but from the Mario Super Show. Wow, it's the better style. That's so cool. A great, fantastic day because, I think because yesterday was such a downer, which if you didn't see on Pixel Plus, the game room that flooded, you can check the video there. But with today, with just all the gloriousness that we had today, just is a, a makeup for all that. So Ben already gave it for my son. Ricky does it too often. I do. Curtis is too ugly to do it. I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Curtis. For wait, wait, no. Ricky, how do you say for my son in Spanish? Para mi hijo. Para mi hijo. Para mi hijo. For my son.